such uh, conduct as may distract from the seriousness and solemnity of the occasion. <laughs> Listen carefully and ponder well what you will hear. Sergeant at Arms, will you please present the applicants and may be seeking admission to as associate member of the Marine Corps? Aye, sir. that we consensus that we are have faithfully served her honorably. We have a serious determination to continue our service in pursuit and practice of the purpose for which we were organized. After careful consideration, are you willing to accept the oath of associate member of the Marine Corps League? If so, answer, I am. I am. I am. All rise. <laughs> We also have uh, Melissa Delgado being conducted this evening also, but she is at home with a sick child, so Jesus is going to sponsor her. Uh, so that evening, yeah. Apple, oh yeah. Raise your right hand and use your name where I use mine and repeat after me. I, Luke Dahlman, in the presence of Almighty God, and the members of the Marine Corps League here assembled, being fully aware that as an associate member, I will not be permitted to hold an elective office or to vote on Marine Corps League policy. A membership application, a membership application, or an election of officers, or an election of officers. You solemnly swear, you solemnly swear, that I will uphold and defend, that I will uphold and defend the Constitution and laws, the Constitution and laws of the United States of America, of the United States of America, and of the Marine Corps League, and of the Marine Corps League. I will never knowingly wrong or injure, I will never knowingly wrong or injure, or permit any member, or permit any member, or any member's family, or any member's family, to be wronged or injured, to be wronged or injured, if to prevent same, if to prevent same, is within my power, is within my power, I further promise, I further promise, to govern and conduct, to govern and conduct, in the league of, in the league's affairs, in the affairs, as in my personal life, as in my personal life, in a manner becoming, in a manner, in a, manner becoming, a decent and honorable person, a decent and honorable person, and will never knowingly, and will never knowingly bring discredit to the league, bring discredit to the league. So help me God. So help me God. Can you lower your hand, Chaplain? Will you lead us in prayer? Almighty <coughs> God. We ask that blessing on those who have become associate members of the Marine Corps League, and upon the Marine Corps League itself, and upon those who are already members. Grant to us of other country and to all nations a desire and determination to follow thy admonition concerning peace, justice, and brotherly love among men and women. Grant 
friend of the nation to start to protect their life. And that time may soon come when the fundamental law of our Ten Commandments will govern the relationship between men, women, and of all nations. These are people that come to know the right to play and know the extent that to be the right to the end. But the love and understanding the right to the peace will always be on. May be necessary in that nation have to go to war, but the war must come, grant there are cause to be a just one. Let none of us rise up in pride to think that we're better than our fellow man. Keep our weak steadfast on the court and court, and grant that its members may be mindful of the true meaning of the motto, that the target, that always be always faithful to do country, to our needs, and to our members. Bless the years of the world, because we are part of it. Amen. 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 Associate members, as come down of the city of Tashkent, I welcome you and declare that you now possess all the privileges, rights, and responsibilities of an associate member of the league. Fellow members, I introduce to you Melinda Dahlman and Sharon Miller, Miller <laughs> as new associate members. We declare a recess of five minutes so that you may personally welcome them to our detachment. Please turn around and.